obviously a glutton for punishment because I'm making another batch of soap in this design and I'm having so much fun with it. I really, really enjoy it. I was only going to do two and then I do two more and then I was going to do one more and that was yesterday and I'm doing one more now. <laughs> so that's six out of the two that I was supposed to make. So anyway, it's, it's really a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying it. Um, just a heads up though, if you have any type of carpal tunnel or if your hands hurt, um, the combing design, I, let me I take that back. Using squeeze bottles is really kind of a bear. So this is one that you may make some modifications if you have that because um, my hand, I have some hand problems and my hand's definitely hurting from the squeeze bottles. There's been some other soapers doing this challenge as well who have complained about the same issues. So um, just keep that in mind if you plan on doing this type of design that you're gonna be squeezing your hand a lot through the whole thing. And you'll see me with the other videos that I use my left hand for some of it, but the, the, the final pour, I have to use my right hand because I'm right-handed. But um, anyway, so just something to keep in mind. So combing design, I, I just love it. I'm having so much fun with it. And yesterday was supposed to have been the last one and I was thinking about doing a peacock design but um, when I did it, I did the final combing in the wrong direction. It still made a really cool design. It just wasn't the one I was doing. So anyway, this is it because I don't have any time left and I need to get the soaps cut and trimmed and photographed and I have other work I've got to do. Um, helping my kids with school. There's just a lot of stuff that I've, I have to get done. So anyway, this is going to be it. So I've got six colors. Again, I have my squeeze bottles all to, um, separate out with the fragrances I'm going to be using with a little bit of sweet almond oil to mix that in. And I have my oils and my lye all ready to go. I'm actually going to be doing um, two separate fragrances this time. So in the previous ones, I did one fragrance, I did two loaves. So I'm going to do two separate fragrances, two slightly different designs, and then, but I'm going to use the same colors. So I wanted to do, uh, I have, I don't have a lot of small bottles left. These are samplers that I've gotten. So I have, I don't, cardamom and cedar, if I'm saying that right. This is definitely going to be kind of a fall one. And um, lemon verbena, which is this kind of a Yankee type. So kind of a candle type scent. Um, it still, it smells like a really bright, fun, fun um, lemon. Anyway, so I'm going to be doing one with one, one with the other, two different designs, kind of. So the colors, I'm going to be using, I've used, where is it? I've used these two, the super pearly white, and then this um, potent purple in all of them so far. Actually, not all of them, most of them. The super pearly white, this one can cause speckling if you cut it like a loaf, but since I'm doing the swirls on top, it's not going to do that. And then I have potent purple mica. This one's from Nurture. This one does morph. Um, actually, hang on a sec. So this is what it looks like. And like a melt and pour or a um, oil and mic, it's a really beautiful purple, but it turns to a, this is my leftovers, this turns into a gray in the cold process. And so I've been using it as a gray because I have a lot of it and it makes a really pretty gray. Um, so I've got the white, the gray, and then I have apple moss green from Brambleberry, King's Gold from Brambleberry. This one is a really pretty gold, but when you use it in soap, it turns kind of a yellow. And then I have Yellow Baby Duck from um, Wholesale Supplies Plus, and then Mocha from, Bram no, that's not Brambleberry, um, Nurture Soap. So the thing about this Mocha, it is a very cool brown. It's not like a warm and toasty brown, like a um, the bronze or like a cappuccino or something. It's, it's a very cool, I'm trying to see if I have a soap here that's handy. Let me grab one, hang on. So like this one, this is the mocha. So it's kind of a cool brown. And this one, I think that one was like a cappuccino. So it's a little bit, a little bit warmer. So this one is not, I mean, it looks like a really pretty coppery um, or bronzy color. And that probably would be that way if you use it like on painting bath bombs or um, like a clear melt and pour. But if you use it in a cold process, it's gonna be kind of a cooler brown. Just like the other ones, I'm going to have two different slabs and I'm going to divide my batter, excuse me, not my batter, my oils and my light solution into thirds. One third will go into one with one fragrance, one third will go into the other with one fragrance, and the final third I'll mix up, divide it out between these six colors, and then I will equally, equally disperse those with the two soaps, and then I will use my swirl. Now this one, I've made different tools for this challenge. I have um, like the wooden skewers, I have them kind of divided into different 
different dimensions, um, different widths, depending on what, what uh, design I want. And then I made another one because I want to go a little finer. So I did one with chopsticks. I've got one that's, um, this one's closer together than that one. And I think I'm going to be using this one again today. So let's go ahead and I'm going to finish getting everything ready and we'll come back to make the soap. 